My name is Stuart Weir. Uh, I'm a landscaping stonemason. I have had this in the back of my mind for quite some time for doing the Green Man or the Gate Guardian. The inspiration behind this piece and the naming of it, I've called it the, the Forest Guardian. Um, he he's, comes from the Green Man, which goes back Celtic and almost pagan times. The original artist may well have seen a person who was a little bit more portly. I've done him a little bit younger, maybe even a little bit more Roman than what it should have been uh, with his features. He's the forest spirit who ushers in spring. And I, I think the original artist probably saw an individual covered in leaves in the forest and maybe to keep warm, who knows? And he's drawn inspiration from that and the, and the stories come from there. That's my interpretation of the, of the story. Having had this in my mind for 10 years for this sculpture, um, it took me six years to collect the stone. Trucking it from North Queensland was quite expensive. In, in recent years, we've, we've had quite a few rain events and Warragamba's been let go. And whenever they let Warragamba go, we've got two days to pack up and get out. The water that comes through comes fast and my priority is tools and everything else. And the green man got to stay in the shed with each flood, causing a little bit of damage. So the sculpture was in the workshop and with the force of the water, it's all swirling around and you get chips and, and which is added to the, the feature of it. It gives it a bit more of a story, um, but it also, disheartens you and breaks you a little bit when you see that sort of damage happen. Um, yeah, it's not been easy. I had to leave it for 18 months and then come back to it to finish it off. And that was part of coming into this event. I came into this event thinking that gives me a final date to actually get it done. It's ironic that the green man who is, who is nature inspired got taken over by nature several times.